this video we will be solving the question number one javascript quiz from the front end dev so this question says that what does the code snippet to the right output by console.log so to understand i will just paste the code in vs code and i will explain it to you so whenever you are asked a question in an interview which involves promises timeouts and you have to guess the output it means that the question requires you to have the knowledge of task queue micro task queue event loop synchronous and asynchronous javascript so let's get the output of this question first we have console.log this is a synchronous call so we will write here output one will be console here we are creating a new promise so whenever we create a new promise the callback function gets executed instantly okay so since this is a synchronous call and this is synchronous as well two will be console three will be console and this resolve function it just updates the status of this promise object to the resolved or completed okay then console.log this is synchronous as well so four will be console here we have promise.then it means it's a synchronous call and all the promises after completion goes to the micro task queue so we will write here a micro task queue and we will name it a t1 okay so this goes to micro task queue and it's asynchronous next is console.log7 after this this will get pushed to the call stack so 7 will be console after that there is a timeout so this is again asynchronous so timeout function goes to the task queue so we will name it t2 and again we have set timeout so we will name it t3 we have all the console from synchronous call now call stack will handle the micro task queue and task queue so micro task queue has higher priority this has lower priority then micro task queue okay so since we have higher priority task in micro task the event loop will put this task one into the call stack so let's go to the task one so this is our task one so console.log5 will be executed then console.log6 will be executed now this got executed this is empty now now event loop will put this one this one and it get completed so since this t2 has 10 millisecond gap and t3 has 0 millisecond gap so in this queue we will have t3 first and t2 second so now event loop will push this t3 to the call stack and it will remove it from here so t3 is this one so 9 will be console next t2 8 will be console now let's submit this output here Okay, so it passes the all the test cases. If you like the video and got to learn something new, please hit the like button and subscribe now. Thanks for watching.